Xbox Series X. I'll show you what's going on. Oh, I got blue viscous crap on me. And if I can zoom out a little bit. As you can see, the HDMI port is quite uh, done for. So that's going to be the job today. Change the HDMI port. I do not have the whole system, so this will just be a solder and wick how-to. Let's take a look under and see. It does not look like the little plastic piece has uh, been broken, so I don't know if you guys can see it under there. Yeah, see that little yellow plastic there? Uh, that is what makes it so difficult to get these off the first time. So, it will be a challenge to get this one off, I imagine. But we will do what we always do. We will start by flooding with a little milk. But first, let me throw up the temperatures we'll be working with today. Get my equipment turned on. And get my proper iron staged. Uh, we could end up using all three. We'll see. Anyway, let's get some flux on this. Get out of here. So we can add some low melt, but we will be uh, flowing this from the top. With that plastic, you might be able to do it from the bottom when that plastic piece is broken or if it is the second install, but the first install, uh, very difficult to do from the bottom. In my experience so far, that experience might change. I may come up with something new. Heck, I may come up with something new on this, on this job here, but come on, give me a glove. Dara not to make a mess out of this one, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. By mess, I mean get solder all over this ground plane. It doesn't make a difference if you do, but preferable when you don't. Yeah, get over here and get some on our pins. I need some wick. I mean, not some wick. Flux. We're not to the wicking part yet. Of the solder and wick video. And we're not worried about bridges here. We need to remove this port so we don't care. I do want to make sure it all gets underneath those pins. You're good. Okay. Okay. I think we're about ready for removal or removal attempt. Ah, we will succeed. May take a little bit, but we will succeed. I think we will use our uh, locking tweezers. I'm probably going to have to switch that nozzle around though, because I was underheating something a while ago. Let's switch it around to a angle that is usable. Okay. Right back on. Here's on the right temp. And let's get about doing this.
There are hidden joints on here too. big metal walking ones. Like these ceramic ones have that good a grip. Take an incredibly long time, so don't get impatient. So just now starting to see the anchor points wet. Okay. That's the thing I'm talking about that makes it so difficult. The yellow plastic. Second installs and third installs should not be too difficult. We're not pulling any pads, but it is really hot. And I'm grabbing it with a thin glove. All right. Let's get to clean up. These are the hidden joints I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see them on screen here. Get zoomed out. Yeah, these guys, you have to wet these, and then you have to break this plastic. Yeah, these, these guys present a pretty uh, decent challenge. They may be too much of a challenge for uh, entry-level uh, gear. They really, I mean, they really put your, your pro-level gear to, a te to the test. This board anticipate... Uh, dissipates heat even better than the you know the PS4 boards I would say it's a uh, pretty impressive Okay, let's clean that off.
saturated. These brushes will get saturated sometimes. I am saving up, or I'm not saving up, I'm, I'm waiting until I have a little extra cast to throw at like one of those ultrasonic brushes. But uh, not yet. I can get the job done with what I got for now. But those will be nice to have. Okay. Add some flux and there's 10 uh, pads here. We are going to flow this uh, port into place to start. As you all seen on recent uh, HDMI repairs, I do like the method of flowing it into place first and then touching up later. I've been trying that out as a method and I like it. Okay. Satisfactory. Okay, I know I got at least one more. I did make a large order of these, but I'm still waiting them to come in. They're in country. That's about all I know at the moment. <clears throat> Alright, put this back around. Okay. In place, sure we're aligned, we're well aligned because we are well cleaned. All right, let's pull the new one in place. Same temperature, same airspeed. We are want, going to want to hit the. We'll watch these pins and make sure they flow in place, but we're also going to be trying to uh, flow in those hidden joints. So I'm really kind of concentrating in that area. I figure once these pins go wet from where I'm directing the heat, we'll probably be good. We are going to use rapid air movement though. We do not want to burn anything. And we'll let the board do most of the work. This may take a little bit of time. But it is leaded solder. 6337. I'm just watching the pins, but kind of am still directing at those hidden joints. Okay, I'm make my way over to the pins now. Solder mat to wet. It will eventually. Done so. Now we flow in this area some more. We really want to make sure we get those hidden joints. If you're, if you're rapid with the, with the the air nozzle, it's not going to hurt anything. All right. Move the air. Let everything dry, and we'll see how we did. We gotta come back and refill. We will come back and refill. No big deal. That feels pretty solid to me. Awesome. So I think we got them. Oh yeah, we got them. Well, we got at least a few of them. Yeah. No, solder's climbing all the way up, all of them. So good. We got them. That's good news. We'll do the anchors and then we'll look at maybe touching up the pins. It just depends on how 
while they float. <laughs> Not worry about this old flux at the moment. I want to hit it while it's still warm. Like I said, this thing dissipates heat like nobody's business. So let's get that soldered on there as quickly as we can. Mm, this is a bad angle. I don't want to make a mess, that was a bad angle. did on feed through. Oh, feed through looks good. Yeah, feed through looks good. Very good. All right, let's clean off all those old flicks. Checker pins. Make sure they are good and solid. Okay. Now I just want to do this as a experiment and see how the Pico pencil handles these without much runway. They don't really need it. And if I, it looks like I'm just going to make a mess then I'll cease. What you'd like to see is the solder climb up that pin. I think this is a great job for it. Like I said, it doesn't need it, so we will stop while we're hit. Perfection is the enemy of progress. We have made progress, so we will stop there. All right, I'm going to clean this up the rest of the way off screen. But anyway, there you have it: a soldered-on Xbox Series X uh, HDMI port. If you have any questions about the equipment I used in this video, take a look at the description below. They're all linked down there. Uh, if you like the video, do me a favor and hit the like button on your way up. If you have any questions, feel free to post them, and I will try to answer all that I can, when I can. Uh, if you like this type of content, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell, and you'll know when I post a video. It's usually about two times a week at this point. And... I think that's all I had to ask of you. Um, yeah. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.